I just spent the day playing Zephyr, and you know, I'm in a really bad mood. Could that be due to the game's general badness? I think that would have something to do with it. Zephyr is a bad game, and it ain't no fun either. Maybe we should stop talking about it. No, we have to warn people about its lack of goodness. It's like our civic duty. Zephyr's one of those hybrid games. That means the designers couldn't make up their minds what they wanted to do. It's a racing game. It's a shooter. It slices, dices, purees, juliennes, even cuts diamonds. Isn't that amazing? Uh, no. Well, maybe not, but the premise had potential. Racing and shooting with hover tanks is a cool idea. Remember, Cyber Race? Yeah. That's all I wanted to say. See Zephyr's intro. See it be ugly. Ugly, Zephyr. Ugly. So I take it you were not overly impressed by the cinematic introduction? You played it. What do you think? I think it's slow. I think it's really slow. I clocked it at two frames per second. That's slow. If it were any slower, it would be a slideshow. We're really gonna pan this game, aren't we? I am. I'm not sure why you're here. Let's mention the one good thing about Zephyr before we get carried away. Good idea. What's that? The sound. I thought the sound was really excellent, mostly because of the way it sounded. Oh yeah, I did too, now that you remind me. See, listen to this. Now that's good sound, as opposed to sound that's more bad. Now that we've done a redeeming quality bit, let's trash the game's graphics. Good. I was getting bored saying nice things. I thought the graphics were really ugly and stuff. Like when you see something that doesn't look good, Zephyr's like that. All the tanks look pasted in like someone tacked them onto a background. And then there's the colors. Those buildings are, like, yellow. That's stupid looking. This game looks like, I don't know, like a Saturday morning cartoon for girls. The back of the box says that Zephyr supports multiplayer games. It says that twice. I count it. Then you open the box and there's this card. Dear consumer, we haven't finished writing the game you just bought. Just be cool and we'll get around to it. I've seen this happen before. Here's a good idea. If a game isn't finished yet, don't release it. That's a good idea. Yeah, well I stayed up nights working on it. You do two things in Zephyr, race and shoot tanks. I could figure out how to shoot tanks, but the part where you're supposed to be racing confused me. Oh good, then it wasn't just me. There's, like, no racetrack or anything, just cities. Now, maybe I'm just stupid, but racing without a track is one of those things that doesn't make sense. Like line dancing? Yeah, except the music's better. One of the worst things about Zephyr is its speed. Because it ain't be got none. That's a fancy way of saying it's slow. It is, you know. Slow, I mean. This is supposed to be an arcade racing game. It doesn't feel like one, though, because it's so slow. It's choppy and slow, and I don't like it. You probably wouldn't notice as much if you drank a lot. Maybe that's what New World Computing was counting on. That I'd be drunk when I played it? Hey, I'm not the only one in the world who makes unrealistic demands on other people. Zephyr's just a plain bad game. It's, it's got good sound, but that's it. Stay away from it. I didn't, but it's my job to play bad games. I would have liked this game if it weren't for all the bad things about it. This could be one of those presents that you buy for people that you don't really like. If a stranger offers you candy, asks you to get into a car with him, or asks you to play Zephyr, tell him no.